Welcome to Montessori Education. Montessori English Medium School Admission to Jargachunnavi Montessori English Medium School Burripalam Road, Tanali Phone 0864-227-115 Welcome to 10th class English video 13. In this video, we just go with glossary from B reading. We have a success story, it's also a story of great failure. We have a, a few words in the glossary that you need to understand how they are to be used. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll give you a small assignment asking you to write these words in your own word, your own words, so that you will know the usage and I know that you know it. Now the first one is overcome. To overcome something means to defeat or succeed in controlling or dealing with something. So I overcame my difficulty in speaking English. Means what? I was able to succeed uh, in dealing with speaking English. Deter. Morning the other day in the other video I think uh, somewhere in the 4th, 5th or 6th video, I gave you the vocabulary detour. A road or route that is used when the usual one is closed. Next one. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Intended to cheat someone. He used fraudulent means to become uh, a great person in life. Beat up. Colonel Sanders, Kenjuki, fried chicken owner, founder, Colonel Sanders said that he had a beaten up car. What is beaten up means? Old and damaged car. Of course working, but old and damaged. Infest. To exist in large number, Walt Disney he stayed in a small room. When the minister invited him to draw some cartoons, he remained in a room infested with rats means rats which were existing in large number next one is conceive page number 19 conceive to form an idea a plan etc in your mind i have conceived there is another conceive when a woman becomes in the family way carries a child we say she has conceived that is become pregnant here conceive means to form an idea in the mind. Duct. Socrates ducked the fellow. Push someone under water and hold them there for a short time. Duct. Another duct. Bend low. Duct. Next one is singe. A thing that is certain to happen. There is a proverb in English. Inch by inch life can be a singe. Inch by inch, life can be a sin. Sin means something that is certain to uh, happen uh, to, to be fulfilled. Outclassed, overcame. Outclass means overcome. He outclassed his difficulties. He overcame his difficulties. This is vocabulary from page number 18 and 19 from unit 1 personality development B reading every success story is stories of great failure next one we have uh, three questions from the comprehension part page number 30 of uh, unit 1 B reading first one to Lincoln defeat was a detour and not a dead end Justify this statement from the life of Lincoln. Did you understand the question? For Lincoln, defeat was a detour, not a dead end. It means he failed from the business at the age of 21. Again, 22, 24, he lost his wife, or I think 26, 27, 34, 37, and he failed many times. For him, it is not the dead end, not the last thing. It is only a detour, a different route that he need, he need to, he had to take. So, 
when we understand that at the age of 50, uh, 55, sorry, at the age of 52, when he became the 16th president of America, he succeeded finally. So all the failures were to make him reach this stage. The man who put a full stop to slavery, racism. So it was his destination, his destiny, God's call for him. So naturally, though he failed all the times, that we are all not an end for him, that was only a detour. Next question, 2, page number 20. What did Socrates suggest as a secret to success? Do you agree or disagree with him? Give reasons for your answer. So when you write, uh, write me brief answers, but see that no grammatical mistake. According to Socrates, there is no secret to success except a burning desire. He pushed him under the water and made him realize that as he wanted air when he was under the water, in the same way, he must want success. So strong desire to succeed, then definitely there is success. That is what he wanted to teach. I definitely agree with the Socrates. If you don't want, by just fluke, if you uh, reach somewhere, it is not success. Success is that you desire something strongly, strongly, and finally you reach. So that is the reason I agree with Socrates. Third question. Complete the following table about the failure and success of the great personalities mentioned in the lesson you have just read. The first one is done for you. And no need to send me this answer, but you can fill it in the textbook itself. This also no need to write in the class work. You can write to after Abraham Lincoln. It is given final success invented the triodus tube. So who is the person? Lead a forest. His failure was he was criticized by the district attorney that he is using fraudulent means to uh, sell his stock. Right, brothers? He was, they were criticized by the editorial uh, newspaper, New York editorial newspaper, that they were trying to use uh, uh, some sort of heavy objects, which is heavier than air, to fly. Final success is invented aeroplane. Knocked many doors before he got the first order. Who? Colonel Sanders. And the final result is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, Walt Disney. What is his rejection? That his cartoons were not up to the mark. He was not a well uh, appreciated cartoonist. Final one, Mickey Mouse. Grown up to be, uh, to be a great scientist. Thomas Alva Edison in the person's box you had right. Failure rejection was his teacher stated that this Tommy is too stupid to learn. Established cars company, Henry Ford. Failure, he forgot to keep reverse gear. Fired by Henry Ford, Ikaka. Ikaka was, Lee Ikaka was American business man an engineer, he was thrown out from the Ford company. Final, what was his final? He has written several books, including the Coca. He is the author, one of the most famous business persons in the world. Gave some of the best music to the world. Who? Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven. German composer, pianist. He was criticized that he doesn't know anything about music. And final one is, gave some of the best music to the world. So this you can fill it in the textbook itself. And most important thing for today's video is, we have again, vocabulary from glossary. See reading, I will do it at page number 26. Mandap, Mandap is not an English word. A raised platform, we call it like Mandapam and all that. D day, important day, no need to study all that, but just to remember D day, important day for a 10th class student. 
the D day is they have taken as final examination. Icon is a famous person or thing that people admire and see as a symbol of particular idea, way of life, etc. Anna, a word used to address respectable elder, older male, but here it is used in the form of uh, like Anna in Telugu or so. But he is supposed to address his father as not Anna, Nana or Appa, whatever it is. Anna is also Indian English. Philanthropist is one who devotes his service or wealth for the love of mankind. Mr. Narayana Murthy was a philanthropist. We, though we make a lot of money, we need to be philanthropist. So that way, try to use all these words, at least one one example, and send to me, to my personal mail, WhatsApp number. Next one, as we thought of winding up today's video with the one word substitutes which are very very important of course based on this uh, vocabulary they will ask you certain things in your final examination also i will read the word and the meanings and uh, maybe if you don't understand i can make one one example but you please see that you make uh, one or two examples using those vocabulary and send to my personal whatsapp number fatalist a person who believes in fate Fate, fatalist. Centenarian, centenary, centenary celebration, 100 years, right? Centenarian is a person who is above 100 years. Omnipresent, present means to be available. Omni means everywhere, one who is present everywhere. Mercenary, mercenary motives. Okay, a person who does anything for money. Misogynist, one who hates women. Person who hates women not feminist. Feminist is who supports females for everything. Misogynist is one who opposes. Hates actually. Monogamy. Opposite of monogamy. Polygamy in social studies you might have studied. Monogamy, a practice of having. Mono means one. One wife or husband. Like Indian family system. Monogamy. Autobiography. Biography. Writing. Auto. Oneself. So, a life history written by one person is called autobiography. Biography, life history written by somebody else. If we write about Gandhiji, Gandhiji's biography. If Gandhi himself writes about himself, it is his autobiography. Honorary. Honorary is nothing but a position uh, for which no salary is paid. He is an honorary uh, director. It means he is only Namke Vaste for name say he is a director, no money, no salary is paid. Ambiguous. Ambiguous means a sentence whose meaning is unclear. Word is not very clear. Meaning is not understood well. Ambiguous. Ambiguity. Inimitable. That which cannot be imitated. Nobody can imitate that. Theist. One who believes in God. Opposite of that is theist. Spendthrift. Spendthrift is miser. What is miser? A person who does not spend money at all. Spendthrift is a person who spends too much. Spendthrift. Teetotaler. Teetotaler is one who abstains from taking any sort of intox intoxicating things like alcohol, tobacco, anything. When people force you, hey, come on, have a beer or uh, something like that, say, sorry, I'm a teetotaler. Means I abstain from alcohol and other things. Very good. These are the words for one word substitutes. And a small tick mark you can give for the given uh, textual work, page number 29. A person or thing that cannot be corrected. I'll help you for this one word. Incorrigible. That cannot be corrected is incorrigible. Illegible means illegible. Legible that can be read. Inlegible means that cannot be read. Indeliable that cannot be trusted. Unintelligible one is not intellectual. So all these words I gave you, but you can also still use the dictionary to understand these words clear and uh, put a tick mark for all the right words. But it is not only taking the right words, one who possesses many talents, words inscribed and took all these. At the same time, the other words out of four choices, the other three words also you must understand. For that, please refer. All together 20 words for 5 questions and 20 words also you must know. 
and I will be conducting a test based on these vocabulary as well. Okay, so next work you need to do is at the end of this three readings A reading, B reading, C reading you have a self assessment nothing much you just take the textbook and simply take it up. What do you take? I read and comprehend the test. No. Attitude is attitude. I understood. No. Every success story is also a story of great failure. No. I will do it. No. That is not the way you should do it. What you should do? I read and comprehend the test. Attitude is attitude. Am I able to comprehend them? Understand the lesson? If you feel that, okay, I understood the lesson very well, you have to put a tick mark in the box. Yes. Somewhat, not exactly, not uh, full, maybe 60 to 50 percentage, 50 to 60 or 70 percent, you say somewhat. If you don't understand anything, put no. And see that, you send me the photo, uh, uh, photo of this to my, to my WhatsApp number so that I understand how many of you understood ABC reading. And in case if you don't understand, if everybody says no, I will upload one more video. So that you will be able to comprehend them better. In that case, come down again. Vocabulary, I was able to identify adjectives and describe new. Nick Vojcic. Nick Vojcic. Pick out the examples from the test that support the att attributes to Nick Vojcic. All these you can just read and tick in the box. Yes, somewhat no. Grammar, again coming to. I was able to identify defining non defining which we will be dealing in a short while in the next video and that at that time you can do it. Writing, um, am I able to write a biographical sketch? All these biographical sketch also we will be dealing so that you can think at that time. And coming to study skills, read given story, some stories are given at the end of each reading ABC, ABC and if you are able to you can think otherwise you can contact me. Listening and speaking also we do in the same. Thank you. Uh, thanks once again for a patient hearing.